Hey guys, welcome back. Well, did you know that you can import SVG images into Maya and turn that into a polygonal mesh? Well, you can, and I'll show you how. Here we go. All right, guys, well, we're in Maya 2018. Let's get started. So uh, I very rarely see videos on how to import a scalable vector graphics or SVG files. So that's what we're gonna do as mentioned. And uh, before I import that, I just wanna talk a little bit about what it is, all right? Now, um, a file that is saved out in the SVG format is not necessarily an SVG file. Um, the typical thing about the file is that it's scalable uh, compared to, for example, a pixel file. If you have a uh, JPEG image that is a bunch of pixels that creates an image, and once you scale that up, it will become really grainy and you can hardly see what it is, right? In the case of a vector graphic, you can scale that up and it will remain the way it is and it will keep its detail, okay? So uh, these are typically made in programs like uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, you can save that format out in Photoshop to an extent as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of the many, many free SVG files you can find online, okay? So we're just gonna jump to a website here. Like I said, one of many that I found, and this is not sponsored in any way. This website is free-icon-rainbow.com and um, as you can see, you can get all sorts of cool uh, things here. Now, uh, I want the largest format that I can um, save. It's interesting that it's uh, mentioned here in pixels, so while we're actually gonna download it as an SVG, you can see that you have the option, PNG, JPEG, or SVG. I'm simply gonna download this by clicking here, and I actually already did. And uh, let's uh, pull that thing into my, here we go. Okay, so here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, Create, and instead of going to Polygon Primitives, we're gonna go straight down to SVG. Once we click on that, you get this default thing here, basically waiting for you to plug in a file, and that's what we're gonna do, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our Outliner, we're gonna make sure that we've got this guy selected right here, we're gonna go into our Attribute Editor, let's go into the Mesh, uh, let's get the right one, SVG one, yeah, there we go. And here we have the folder, uh, our import folder, okay? So let's click on that and uh, let's find our uh, Santa. Uh, that's not the one, this one is, all right? Let's hit open and there you go. That's how easy that is, okay? Now, uh, as always, keep in mind that this can be a very powerful tool. If you need certain elements for your model that you don't have, uh, you can simply go into Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop to an extent, create your own vector graphics and turn them into a 3D mesh in one simple click, okay? So that's all there's to it. It's really, really simple. Uh, like I said, I don't see a lot of people using it, so that's why I wanted to share it with you, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, please subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.